Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to World of Warcraft Wrath of the Lich King Classic and our Human Warrior playthrough. We are in Elwyn Forest, and look, today it's not cloudy, it's not foggy, there's no thunderstorms, and there's not a giant necropolis floating overhead. It looks like Blizzard finally fixed the pre-patch event continuing on some servers indefinitely. Because yeah, it actually looks pretty here today, which was not the case the last time we were here. Uh, today we are going into Westfall. I have uh, decided to do a little pivot here on our warrior, get him out of Kalimdor, and bring him back to the Eastern Kingdoms. My reasons are many. They're many. <laughs> Don't know if I'll necessarily get into them. Uh, as you guys know, who have been around the channel for a little bit, we have a lot of playthroughs going on right now. And part of the reason for that is that I'm not really sure what class, if any, that I want to specifically focus in on right now. I'm having fun playing all the classes that we're playing. You need something? Uh, to some degree or another. See you around. And for now, while I'm trying to you know, decide if I want to narrow things down or if I really do want to focus on one or the other. I'm going I'm to keep playing them. But what I don't want to do is I don't really want to double up on zones. So I, I don't want to have characters going through the same zones. And I do plan to take the Draenei Shaman uh, through Blood Mist and keep her over in Kalimdor. So I wanted to bring the warrior back over to the Eastern Kingdoms um, where he'll probably fit in a little bit better. It was fun, though, to do some questing in Darkshore on a human. It was visually very unique. But yeah, let's come back to uh, our homeland here. We've done some traveling, seen some distant sights. And we're going to do some questing in Westfall because I quite like it. And we're not quite out of level range. That being said, when we hit 19... One or two of these might go gray. So poor old Blanche might go gray. Killing fields should be fine. Look at what has happened to this place. These lands were once occupied by good farm folk. But the damn thieves have driven them off. Not me though. But it seems some harvest watchers have taken over the fields. If you're up for the work, I'd like you to go out and kill 20 of them. Go with honor, friend. We can pick up can Westfall Stew. See, Gortusk liver pie is low. We're not going to bother with that one. See you around. Well, then again, how low is it? Safe travels. Eh, we might get these incidentally. Because we need Gortusk snouts for the other quest. I kind of feel like tackling these in level order is going to be a good idea. That being said, we need Murloc eyes for this one. Murloc eyes are going to be that way. Oh, we have Murloc eyes. We must have Murloc eyes in our bag from somewhere else. How cool is that? So we just need the vulture meat, the Gortus snouts, and the okra. Uh, where are we getting the okra from? We can get okra from some of these lower level harvest watchers. And we need them for a kill quest too. What are we going to pick up in Sentinel Hill? Level 14, that should be good for a level. And red leather bandanas. I think we're okay to work on this for right now. I did train level 18, we got Disarm, and we got a second rank of Thunderclap. And that was it. We can also find handfuls of oats out here in the fields.
maybe you guys can tell me what you think about this idea. I've been considering doing a hardcore playthrough for a little bit now. And the other day somebody told me that apparently the server Blood Cell Buccaneers, their hardcore community is doing a fresh start hardcore run on December 15th. That sounds really cool, but I wasn't able to get uh, or to find any real solid information about it. But I have already been considering a hardcore run soon on the channel, just to kind of change things up a little bit to make things a little bit more interesting, higher stakes. I feel like when you're doing a hardcore run, there's always that tension of having to play a lot more carefully than we typically play these days. And I, I like to do other rules too. I like to do the craft your own equipment rule where we can only equip gear that we've made ourselves. That excludes items. This is, this is wearable gear. Items we can, st or weapons, shields, we can still get from anywhere. Uh, I was kind of looking for more bags of oats. I think I, I missed one somewhere. But that has been on my mind recently. Eventually I'll probably put up a poll for you guys to help me decide how to narrow down some of our playthroughs. The problem is I'm, I'm enjoying all the, all the characters, so... Sometimes it's easy to get to a point where you realize that you're not really having fun on a class, but with all the classes that we're playing now, every time I play them, I have a lot of fun, so... It's been hard for me to decide, you know, to focus on one or two of them and to, to shelve the others. It's, it's not really been a decision that I've been willing to make, obviously. As we're still kind of cycling through four playthroughs. Five, I guess, if you count the uh, Paladin at Endgame. Alright, these fields are, are barren. <laughs> They're barren. If we wanna if we wanna find more guys, we probably have to head over this way. These are not respawning very quickly. Maybe we just don't bother with the Grey Quest. Maybe that would be okay. We have Red Ridge we can go into as well, and Red Ridge quests start at like level 16, so we're actually like we're in a good place to go to Red Ridge. We, d we don't have to do everything here if we don't want to. We can do the we can do the quest that we want to do basically, and we don't have to try to 100% everything. And skipping the two cooking quests, I don't think those chain into anything important. So we shouldn't be losing out on anything by not doing those now that they've both gone gray. What are we working with here for items? Can go back to the axe for a little bit. Swords are almost maxed out. Somebody pointed out that we don't think we have bleed damage showing on the uh on the scrolling combat text. I'm going to check that out here in a second. Periodic damage. Yeah. Wasn't checked. There we go. Now we will actually see the damage popping up from Rend and other bleeds. There it is.
that is one problem for us with fighting under level enemies is that if they're not worth kill experience, we're not going to proc victory rush. So that is something we need to keep in mind. I'm hoping we get Execute at level 20. That would be nice. We're getting pretty lucky finding these sacks of oats. I've had characters come through here where it has seemed impossible to find any of these. It's probably also useful that there really isn't anyone else around. <laughs> that is also a real thing. Yeah, nobody else around. And it does feel uh, quite empty. Alright, let's head back over to the east, back to the original farm plot. And maybe if we're really lucky, we can finish this one up over there. I do see some oats here. Let's try to sneak in here and grab them. And that will be 8 out of 8. Good work, friend. You have earned your pay well. Who knows? Perhaps Westfall will prosper once again. Be careful. Alright, let's go turn in the oats to old Blanche. And then we'll head down to Sentinel Hill.
there. Old Blanche is on her last leg. Yeah, we got her oats. She looks healthy. See you later. She looks healthy. All right. Let's go south. I'll kind of go off road. We'll keep our, our eyes open for any mineral deposits along the way. Don't think we're going to find any tin here, but we still have a chance to get skill ups off of copper, so. Keep our eyes open. Here we go. There's some copper. We'll grab a repair here too. I, I do see that our belt is breaking and some of our other gear is probably getting low on durability as well. Need help? We do need to grab People's Militia, even though it's a low level. It's going to chain into other quests here. The People's Militia has but one goal, to defend the lands of Westfall and return peace to our surroundings. Unfortunately, the price of peace is often blood. One of my scouts has brought word of a band of Defias trappers wreaking havoc nearby. I have reports of Defias trapper sightings near the Jangerlode mine to the northwest as well as the Molson farm and the Furbrow pumpkin farm. If you seek to join our ranks, then slay 15 Defias trappers and 15 smugglers. The Alliance. You need something? Stormwind has all but abandoned us. A foul wind of depravity rustles through the plains of Westfall. This was my homeland and I will not turn my back on the citizens who choose to remain here. We, the former farmers, shall make our stand. Your task, should you choose to accept it, is to patrol the grasslands of Westfall. Track down and slay the vile gnolls that seem to be working in conjunction with the deadmine thieves. Bring me eight gnoll paws and I will reward your bravery. See you around. King's honor, friend. And then the Defias Brotherhood, the band of wretches responsible for driving the good people of Westfall from the land, call themselves the Defias Brotherhood. I need you to infiltrate this clan of thugs. We need to know who heads up the cartel and where they are hiding out. In Lakeshire, in the inn, there is a rogue by the name of Wiley who owes me a favor. Travel to Lakeshire in Red Ridge Mountains, east of Elwyn, and find out what you can. Life bless you. We will do that eventually. I'll probably run over there off recording to grab the flight points, and when I do that, I'll, gr I'll turn in that breadcrumb and get the follow-up. Let's come over here and we'll grab the quest for the red leather bandanas. Uh, Defias... Or the People's Militia is 12. We're gonna do that immediately and hope that the follow-up is at least green. What can I do for you? The Defias front is constantly shifting. I've been following their movements for quite some time now. As a side note, I've ascertained that many members of the gang can be tracked by the red leather bandanas they wear. Bring me 15 of these bandanas and I'll see to it you are rewarded. For the Alliance. Let's be really smart and let's go set our hearthstone over at the inn since it's currently set in Aberdeen. Need help? Be careful. There we go. Okay. Let's head right over here.
I'm glad they netted us, but then nobody ran away. Very useful netting. We, we totally stole this guy from that hunter. I mean, I saw the mark go up, my finger was already going to charge, and it just kind of completed the motion on its own. You know how it is. I probably could have made myself not press charge, but I was already firing neurons to do it. So, it happened, and it wasn't intentional, but it happened anyway. Never even saw the hunter. Just saw the mark go up. We didn't repair. I realize this. <laughs> Not that these guys can really hurt us. We can probably beat them completely naked, so... Not really a big deal at this point. This camp has not respawned yet, which is pretty unfortunate. Anybody up top here? A couple of people. Instant respawn. I'll take it. I'll take it.
not many of them have run, but she uh, certainly took off. Looks like we're getting some respawns down here. That's awesome. Having to kill 30 guys, I do wish that we had come here when we could get a little bit of a kill experience from them. 30 guys is a lot of guys to kill on a gray quest. That's true. You're absolutely right if you had that thought. Because I had that thought too. It's a lot of guys to kill on a gray quest, but we're, we're going to get it done and I think the next quest will at least be green. So we should be fighting guys that can give a little bit of kill experience on the next one. But it's a big chain, so we uh, we need to do it. We're just looking for smugglers now. But that being said, uh, we're going to kill everything because it's going to respawn as either a trapper or a smuggler. It has a chance to spawn in as either. I was going to let you live until I finished mining, but uh, your life will be prematurely shortened by your own bad decision making. Clear you out too, so you have a chance to respawn as something useful. Looks like we'll probably complete the red bandana quest as well by the time we finish this one.
One more to go. I'd be okay just getting the last bandana now, getting that turned in and being done with it. So I'm going to hang out here for another minute and fight a few more of these guys before we head back. I feel like it's worth it. Greetings. Light bless you. Let's go ahead and spend the last point here to finish up Unbridled Wrath. Could we be cleaving more? That's the question. Do we even have cleave is the other question. We don't have cleave yet. <laughs> my next my next talent point we can get into improved cleave, but we don't have cleave. So maybe at level 20 we learn cleave. At least here's hoping. What can I do for you? Well done, my scout witness your valiant axe. You are proving yourself quite well so far. A band of vicious defias pillagers has been seen plundering the Gold Coast Quarry, Moonbrook, and Alexton Farmstead. The People's Militia will not stand for such behavior. Dispatch immediately and make the Light's presence known in Westfall. Go with honor, friend. Alright, there we go. Level 14. Now we are in business. Let's head out to the Alexton Farm. That'll get us close to the Nolpals, which we will do at the same time. Uh, well, we also have a quest here. Red Silk Bandanas. This is a dungeon quest, so we don't need to grab that right away. Uh, that being said, we are getting high level for for dead mines, aren't we? 16 to 24. I need to do this soon. Next time we play the warrior, we're going to do dead mines. We're probably not going to have all the quests by then. But I want to do it before we are too far out of level range. Something I never do is I never fight these guys down in Moonbrook. So maybe we go fight them down in Moonbrook. Maybe we'll also see the messenger spawn while we're doing that. That's probably a good reason to always fight these guys in Moonbrook. But for some reason I always fight them out at the Alexson Farmstead. I, I don't know why. 
But let's try taking them on in Moonbrook as a little change of pace. And we'll just work our way in from the outskirts. It's going to be great to be able to at least use Victory Rush <laughs> against these guys. And they are going to run, so... That's something we might want to keep in mind. Okay, those fireballs hurt a lot. We are lucky that one missed. That was incredibly painful. Uh, we don't necessarily have an interrupt yet. In fact, we have shield. We have shield bash. We can use this in battle stance. Okay, we're good. We do have an interrupt. This is like the third time I forgot that we do in fact have an awesome interrupt. Guess I'm just used to being on characters that don't. There's a messenger. We could try to kill him, see if he drops an item for a quest. It's one good thing about the server being slow right now and nobody really leveling is that we can, uh... Find guys like, this guy is going crazy. What is he doing? Oh no, what is he doing? <laughs> I've never seen this kind of behavior before. Uh, let's, let's loot him. He didn't have anything for us. Maybe we're not at level yet for it. Uh, we've got lucky with her missing a couple times. She missed twice. Uh, otherwise we would probably be really, really low as far as our health goes. Uh, I don't want to run in there like this. Maybe if we have full health, we can do that. Being disarmed here kind of sucks. can say that. Let's eat some food. We're probably going to have to make bandages, which is not going to be a problem. Apparently we have a ton of linen. Let's go ahead and make some now. Inventory is full. That is not great.
And we're back to zero. It's it's not a winning game, right? Doing this with your inventory. You can't win. Uh, we just have to hope that we can finish this up promptly and not have too many things left on the ground. Which is going to be hard because we have to kill a, a, a bunch more people. In, in fact... We're not going to try to do that. We're going to hearth back to town and take care of our inventory issues. It's kind of obscene to have 18 slot bags and to have this many problems. <laughs> I am so awful with my inventory. It's disgusting. I'm just going to go through and sell everything except for materials and hope we don't sell anything that we need. Having a ranged weapon at some point would be good. I'm gonna save the hops, because I think we can turn those in for a quest. But we need to do some blacksmithing or mail this to an alt. Doing some blacksmithing would be preferable. Alright, that is not perfect, but it's a lot better. You don't have the proficiency for that item, so we'll save that. We need to learn bows. You know where we could have learned bows? We could have probably learned bows really easily in, in Darnassus. Would have been an easy place to learn how to use a bow. Farewell. Okay. So, let's let's try that again. Looks like we've got some higher level gnolls here. There are ones that are like level 14 that we can primarily fight, but apparently there are camps like this of higher level enemies who can also drop the item.
I'm surprised he didn't try to cast a single time. That was kind of weird for a caster. Things will be better when we can cleave. As far as like having a little bit of AoE damage, you know? Alright, we are actually done with that one. I definitely think doing it here is a lot quicker and smoother than doing it at the Alexon Farmstead, so yeah. Glad that we tried that, we didn't run out of any particular type of enemy at any point. Uh, granted, we had to go back and empty our inventory, so... Uh, the Null Paws, let's, let's head over here and uh, see if we can get some Null Paws. We could fight over there, too, I guess. Uh, what do we want to do? I I've never fought them down here. I don't know what level they are. Maybe we'll go check that out. Alright, these guys are also level 17. Oh, we've made a terrible mistake. <laughs> Ever pull a whole camp? Uh, we just did it. Do we live through this? I don't... I mean, yeah, they all, they all reset. And we kept this guy. And we killed the one guy. Okay, well that was fortuitous. That was probably the best thing that could happen from all that. Uh, let's be a little bit more careful, I suppose. We don't have to run up to- I, it was kind of a test to see, like, yeah, can we charge this and pull just one of these guys? And the answer to that is no. 
No, we cannot charge it. We might be able to body pull it. Yeah. Nothing we're going to be able to do about the camps. Not with just us by ourselves. Okay, we got lucky there. We didn't pull the camp. That was the scariest path ever, because for a minute, it looked like we were heading right in here. And uh, I didn't appreciate that. <laughs> so that was not where I wanted to go. Can't bandage while poisoned. Definitely can't have this guy healing himself to full. That would not be okay. I like fighting these guys over here. It's interesting because usually we'd be fighting them at like level 14, but these guys are a little bit tougher. The drop rate seems to be about the same. We definitely don't have an increased drop rate just because we have increased difficulty. <laughs> that is not what's happening.
We're gonna have to let the lightning bolts go just in case we have to block a heal. Yeah, here's the heal. We, we definitely need to hold on to our interrupt. And not be tempted into uh, blocking out the lightning bolt. Alright, that's that. That's all of our quests complete that we have at the moment. Let's head back and get them all turned in. Your worth to the people's militia has been validated by your brave acts thus, thus far. Some Defias have eluded us. My most trusted scouts report that these Defias have been looting and pillaging the countryside all the way into southern Westfall. We believe they are hiding out in the Dagger Hills, plotting their next move. Slay the wretches in the name of the people's militia. So we need highwaymen, plain stalk, path stalkers, and knuckle dusters. And we can actually get a really good one-hander or two-hander... It's probably time to go with a two-hand sword for a little bit, although, although, having a better one-hander, this is not going to be better though, so we'll take the two-hander, and we'll level that for a while. Hey there. Well done, with the Valiant Adventures, with Valiant Adventures such as yourself, fighting alongside the People's Militia, Westfall just might return to the prosperous breadbasket it once was. Nothing from this one. See you later. All right, guys, I am going to take a break here for today. I feel like we've done a decent job at kind of getting into things here uh, in Westfall. We do need to repair. Maybe I do that before I park it. Pretty sure there was a repair guy somewhere over here. There they are, all the way over here. But yeah, I'm still having a ton of fun on the Warrior. Um, it's probably my favorite class. It goes back and forth between this and the, the Shaman. Greetings. 
but I really like the momentum style of the warrior. I like being pushed by victory rush to go from pull to pull to keep our, our rage going. It's a really fun playstyle that nothing else really comes close to matching. So yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. Let me know what you do think. I would love to hear from you. And until next time, guys, take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back here again sometime very soon. Bye for now.